Hey everyone, guess what? You guys are getting a sneak peek in this video. You're seeing it here first, some new shades from Everyday Minerals. I know you guys know that that is one of my um, favorite mineral makeup brands. It is probably my favorite make mineral makeup brand, and I'm going to be showing you in this video two new face colors, a cheek color and an all-over face color, and four new eyeshadow shades, two of which are liners that can go totally multi-purpose. You're going to get a look that I call um, soft yet... Um, can be very dramatic, as, as much as dramatic as you want to make it, and also three new lip shades. So I hope you guys stay tuned to see how I use these colors. Um, Everyday Minerals is a brand that I've been using for quite some time, and it is an honor to get to uh, sort of show you what's ahead for the line and preview some products, and uh, hopefully you get excited about this great look for fall, great for back to school, um, and totally customizable to what you're comfortable with in terms of makeup. So if you want to see more on the products and my little review as we go along, Long. Keep on watching. Right, guys, let me bring you up to speed on what I've done so far on my face. Um, first, I applied the Abbott's Perk Me Up Concealer. Now, these are not new products here that I'm first talking about. These are just ones that I already um, have and use pretty regularly. And so I... Um, use that. It's kind of a nice like peachy golden uh, concealer blend and so it's really great for under the eye area to kind of neutralize any discoloration you may have there or really anywhere on your face because it has really nice coverage. Uh, and then I applied one of my favorite Everyday Minerals foundations. It's the Matte Formula in Sandy Medium. And so basically, Intensive is probably my very favorite coverage because it is the most coverage. But honestly, if you're using their flat top brush with these products, I know I've talked about this brush before. It is so soft, so dense. It, it feels like heaven on your face. And um, even with some of their lesser coverage formulations like the um, the Original Glow or the Semi Matte or anything like that, um, you'll find this brush will give you even better coverage even when the formulation is not as intense. Then I applied another product that I, oh, this is one I already had on a hand and it's the Everyday Bronzer. You'll find this in the blush section of the website and this is just great, just an all over bronzer shade. Um, it has, you know, a minimal amount of, I, if any, shimmer. I don't even, I mean, I can't really pick up on it, but there is maybe a little teeny bit of something there. A little bit of a glow, but you know, it's not it's not like you're putting shimmer all over your face. So <laughs> I can't really tell that I even have shimmer on. It just is a nice, nice natural bronze color. Okay, moving on. Um, I'm going to grab my angle blush brush. This is another Everyday Minerals brush. Um, I love their brushes so much. They're so cute, aren't they? <laughs> like the, the little flat top. And this one, if you already have that flat top one, this is very much like it. It feels like it. It's just shaped differently. So if you love that soft, dense, rich feel, um, you're going to like that as well. So I'm going to use a cheek color now. And this is one of the new shades in the collection. It's called Sand Cherry. And as you can see, it's kind of like, I mean, tones of... Uh, like apricot and and it's got like kind of a goldeny finish to it and a little bit of sparkle that I love and so I'm gonna get a little bit I don't know if you can see better how that looks there maybe not but I'm gonna get some on my brush regardless and put it on for you here and this is just going to make you look instantly luminous um, it does, as you can see, that kind of sh that shimmer is coming through a little bit, and I love it. I mean, I usually it takes a little bit uh, for me to like a product that really has some shimmer in it, uh, just if it's a face product, but just because I worry about it, you know, maybe going overboard on that and making you look oily instead of just that that pretty dewy look. But it's nice when you're going over like a matte formulation of, of foundation. You know, you're really not building shimmer upon shimmer. You're just applying it like this. So um, I really think this is pretty. It's so fresh, so not obvious um, as a blush, but yet it is um, bringing some life to your cheeks. Um, the next new thing I want to show you in terms of face products is this Lucent Powder, and this is in Dusty Miller, and by Lucent Powder, I mean this is the sort of tone. It's basically almost a skin tone, light peach looking powder, and um, by Lucent, it is basically transparent. Um, it has does have a little hint of shimmer, um, very natural, a very nice way to basically dust over your whole makeup look 
and give it kind of a flawless appearance, a very radiant appearance. And so I'm just going to go ahead and use my angle brush again and kind of just pop this all over my face just lightly. A um, little bit's going to go a long way in terms of this product because, like I said, it does have a little bit of shimmer to it. But it's, it's I mean, going to give you that glow that really very few products can give because while you're adding the shimmer you're not adding a thick shimmer this is a very light product um, it's you know it's just really really fun to use and it can top off any makeup look you, you know no matter what you're using this with now for the eye colors, we're going to be working with a lot of loose shadows slash uh, pigments. So I'm going to use an eyeshadow base that provides a little bit more of a sticky finish. Um, it's not super sticky, but it's just a little more tacky than some others. because And it will really um, grab those shadows, make them stand out, and make them stay on your eye. So I'm using my Be Luscious Shadow Magnet in light. And um, just get a little bit of that on my finger and... Excuse the lack of nails being done. I also had a little uh, uh, unusual experience with some sunless tanner, and so it got a little bit on my nails there. But anyway, we'll look past that, right, friends? Okay, got all that on my lid. Then I'm going to go to my first shade, which is called Wood Sorrel. And this is a gorgeous light periwinkle blue. It's mostly matte. Um, it does have actually a little bit of a pearlescent quality to it, but I mean it really comes off on the eye rather matte and a little bit darker than it appears. It appears very baby blue in this container, but you'll see when I put it on my eye, it's just a little bit deeper. But this is a gorgeous shade for all over the lid, and it makes me want to use blues more after uh, trying this out. So I'm going to use my Everyday Minerals Shadow Brush. It's just a nice flat uh, brush for eyeshadow, and pack some of that color on there, and we will just pack this on our lid. See what I mean about that? It just comes off a little bit deeper than what it does... Uh, right there in the container and the more you layer it on the more you'll see a little more of the shimmer just be aware of that so I've got like I guess you'd call it a couple coats on there right now and I love the color that's coming through and then just to kind of um, continue to finish that look and by the way the way I'm using this this is loose in that little shaker and in case you've never um, used mineral shadows before I just kinda shake or tap it in the lid so I'm working with, you know, a very small amount. A little bit goes a long way. And then I'm going to just kind of press my brush onto all that shadow. And since it's loose, you really want to kind of press press the brush um, on top of it so it really packs on there. And then what we're going to do with that, now that we've just packed a little more on our brush, um, kind of work it up a little bit higher so we can continue this blue just up just a bit, kind of into that crease, just like so. And this would be a gorgeous way to honestly, if you just wanted something quick and wanted to play with a new color, um, this is such a wearable blue. You could just wear it like this, one shadow shade, and, and put on some mascara, and that would be really fresh and beautiful. But to show you kind of the scope of what these colors can do, I'm obviously going to continue <laughs> and show you a little bit more. But anyway, that shade was Wood Sorrel. And then I'm going to use a highlight shade, and this is Queen Anne's Lace. And this is going to be just your, you know, kind of standard light pearly champagne shimmery shade um it's not you know too heavy it's not going to go on real thick I've tapped a little bit of that into my lid and I'm going to use my Sephora rounded crease brush for this because I'm not really uh, wanting to pack it on but I'm just wanting to apply that all the way up to the brow bone here to give ourselves a little added luminosity there and then I'm going to take the smallest brush I own for eyes. Um, this is actually from Coastal Sense. It's the C148 Mini Contour. It's really not contouring anything, but um, <laughs> I packed some of that light shade on there, and this is just perfect. The perfect brush for kind of getting the shadow right there on your your uh, tear duct area, getting that added brightness right in the corner of your eye. It's really great for that. 
So just apply that all over. Like I said, this is a kind of sheer shade. This is this shade could honestly transform a lot of your shadows from matte to something a little more shimmery or something a little more luminous, you know what I mean? Because it's not one of those thick, op super opaque uh, shadows. But there we go. We've kind of just given us given ourselves a little light right there in the corner of the eye. And this, once again, could be a stopping point if you wish, but if you want to deepen this up and add a little more drama, I'm going to go ahead and use, an, a, it's an eyeliner shade called Sweet Woodruff. <laughs> and this shade is kind of hard to describe. It's obviously very dark. It does have a little shimmer, and it does have a hint of what I believe are some tones of um, royal blue and purple. So that is a gorgeous, gorgeous uh, formulation for an eyeliner. Um, but since this had a little more shimmer to it, I mean, not tons, but it, but just a hint, I thought this would be something I could work in to make a deeper eye, eyeshadow shade. So this will just basically show you how, just because some of these shades for Everyday Minerals are labeled eyeliner, they can still be your deeper uh, shadow shade because they're extremely, extremely pigmented, and um, you're going to really like them for that. So I'm going to go back to my... Um, Everyday Mineral, Mineral Shadow Brush. I've got the product right there in the lid just a tiny bit and I'm not even going to use all of that. I'm going to get a little bit on my brush, packing it on. It's very important when you're using dark shades like this to really press it into your brush. You don't want it flying all over your face. Um, so I'm going to just, I'm just tapping that lightly into my crease, okay? Just with sort of that kind of wedging it in motion just like that and I'm gently lifting my brush with every stroke, okay? See how we're getting depth that is visible even when our eye is open? That's what some people struggle with. They've been doing a look and their eye has been closed the entire time they've done the look and then they open up and they're frustrated because they can't see the color anymore. Um, this is the benefit to doing your makeup, kind of looking down into a mirror or keeping your eye open somewhat because then you can tell, you know, okay what are people gonna actually see from this look when my eyes are open okay so I'm just I, I, I have not gone back and put anything more there really on the brush I'm just continuing to blend out what I've already done it's amazing how a tiny tiny amount of shadow goes a long way and that's basically what we're gonna do with that um, as you can see, I've just, I just I, I concentrated it first in the crease because that's naturally where the deepest color would be in that sort of shadowed area already right there. And then just kind of blending it up. It's so easy to manipulate even for a dark, loose shadow, which I would say would be one of the most challenging things to work with. These are very easy to use. I'm taking my Sephora rounded crease brush just bare just to buff out the edges even more, keeping the look soft. Um, then the other liner shade that I have, this is the fourth um, new kind of shadow shade here, is Weeping Willow. Like I said, it's an eyeliner shade. Um, it comes off more matte than Sweet Woodruff does, and it does have some tones of like, it seems like a matte charcoal to me. And it may also, like in the packaging, I feel like there's some blue in it too, but basically this is just your classic dark, <laughs> you know, kind of shade. And it's not going to come across with a lot of sparkle. I'm using a uh, Coastal Sense Taclon Liner Brush. Um, just gives me a really, really uh, defined line. I've got a little bit of that, just a tiny amount here in my cap. I'm going to press my brush into it, packing it on my brush, and I'm just going to line the upper lash line with this. Um, if you wanted to add like a mixing medium and get more of a liquid appearance to this, you definitely could. For me, I'm just using it, um, keeping the look, you know, soft. Like I said, it's a soft yet intense look, which is a fun kind of new concept for me to play with. And um, just this is so easy to use guys if you are a, a scared of liner and have had bad luck applying liquid and bad luck even with pencil um, taking a, an intense pigmented powder like this and just using a liner brush with it it gives you a much softer line and it's much more foolproof I'm apply it on the lower lash line as well and that's where it's going to be even more visible since we haven't been messing with any other darker shades down there. And I'm kind of using that brush to, to blend the corner there. 
as you can see. You could get an even more intense smoky look if you use less of the light shades and more of just the liner shade like all over the lid. Can you imagine? I mean you could get a super intense look. I feel like this look is sort of intense but yet it's still kind of the middle ground for what these shadows could do. Okay, I'm taking it in most of the way and then I'm going to go back to the Queen Anne's Lace shade and because I do want to keep that light showing right here using my tiny tiny brush and just going over that again to make sure I keep the little light here. Next thing we're going to do is curl our lashes. For the lashes in this look, I'm not using any false lashes, but I wanted a look that would kind of, you know, really complement the softness of this look. So, not necessarily a mascara that's going to make my lashes look really thick and chunky, but something more so that's going to define every lash and just add to the softness of the look. So for that, I'm using my Be Luscious HD Mascara in Carbon Black. I've used this in some videos before, and the brush is that small so it's going to really highlight every lash make it very easy for you to get to every lash I really like it for just I mean like it's high definition it's it's defining every lash that you've got um, it is nice in terms of lengthening as well and also if you put it on your lower lash line you're not gonna get like smudging everywhere it actually holds up pretty well there too so I just get a little bit of that on you can see how it's just highlighting whatever it touches and I'm gonna probably do one more coat on each and then I'll join you with the finish right, everybody here is the finished look this is an awesome awesome look for fall as we're kind of rounding out summertime it's playing off of some of the natural luminosity in your skin with those face shades that really um, you know bring out some added radiance it kind of shows that even though you know we're out of summer you can still definitely play your face up with a little bit of shimmer in some key places and the eye look is basically what I call um, soft yet intense because you can use those liner shades um, they're so multi-purpose to use them as a shadow as well so um, I hope you enjoyed uh, this little preview of some of the new everyday minerals colors I think they're super fun to play with totally appropriate for um, all ages really you can as you can see as I kind of showed you during the eyeshadow look there's some different stopping points really you know you could use you don't need to go necessarily with the darker colors but this is just sort of showing you how you can do that if you choose and I do want to tell you real quick what's on my lips um, there are some new like natural lip glosses um, and they're basically like a tinted lip balm I really like them I like the pink lemonade which is just a nice nude pink that's what I've got on right now but I added to it um, monster movie which is sort of like a I mean it comes off as like a deep berry brown sort of shade but I just put that on my fingers and I like applied it just to deepen up that um, pink lemonade just a little bit just to give a little more dimension for it and I really like that combo there and then there's one other one that's new and it's called soccer practice and this is just going to be like kind of your classic really nude really natural lip but these make your lips look fuller um, when you put them on I don't know I just feel like there's they're not overly glossy there's a nice little sheen to them they actually have decent staying power and this the scent is just kind of like a natural scent like it's very natural like you're, there's no like strawberry kiwi thrown into this stuff and thank you guys so much for tuning in for this video and have a great day